There's her sundress. Oh, this is for at the beach. Her sundress. It's strapless. Nobody wears that to the shore. Is oh, that a, I would be. Is that a braless strap or a strapless bra? <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Look, you just stay busy with your shoes. Yeah, you stay. You, <laughs> you stay got with enough your shoes. to do with your boots over That's there. Right. You just keep on marching. Oh, look, look, look. I said, you two are accomplishing a lot more than I am. I know. Oh, well, <laughs> is that the geometric? That's got so enough. we know we're somewhere between. We're no. We're nowhere. We. Bleh. Let me get in out of this wind. <laughs> but I told you I had a substantial floor lamp, custom made. No, it's not custom made. I mean, perfect for that big lampshade that you saw in yesterday's video. I'm gonna do, there's a little bit of loss to the finish down here at the bottom. So, um, and this has been in storage for a while. So obviously the spider webs have to come off and uh, it's mahogany. It dates to the uh, 1920s. Um, go all the way up. Look, look at the big bulbous turnings here on the uh, column. Flute, fluted. Go all the way up. And then somebody added, I'll probably take those off. That somebody added that on there. Um, but those are the original poles with the acorns and we have two very nice old sockets up at the top and then we'll put a finial on it so <clears throat> that's what i had in mind when i saw that big pink lampshade i knew it and just so that you know just so that you know the old doll house is still sitting there it hasn't gone anywhere, so didn't fiddle with it last summer, but um, I probably will this uh, this summer. And I've got another radio I'm refinishing. That one needed to be stripped. Oh, and I forgot about this lamp. I love this deco lamp. Most of the paint is gone, so I'm gonna have to restore it this is an old general electric they had really they had uh some unique grill cloth and that grill cloth is fine i'm not going to recycle i am going to recycle that okay um well that's it i just wanted to show you this lamp i'm going to go ahead and take it with me get it back to the bungalow and uh, clean it up and can't wait to get the big pink shade on it it's going to be just fantastic Hi everyone, it's the old Curiosity Shop, again from the front seat of my pickup truck. I just stopped at the grocery store to get a couple of things. I'll actually show you what I got, but I stopped at a thrift store too, and have three cruets and one candy dish to show you. But first, what did I get at the grocery store? One orange, because I want one orange. I'm out of horseradish, and so Kelchner's horseradish made in Allentown, Pennsylvania. This stuff is so good. See how it's almost like horseradish paste. You know, there's no mayonnaise stuff in here. It's just like ground up horseradish. In fact, what's in it? Horseradish, vinegar, water, salt. I can spoon it right out of there. And this time of the year with allergies, and all this pollen, a spoonful of that every day. Woo, you don't need a decongestant. You don't need to suck on a bunch of Hall's cough drops. You take a spoon of, the, of ground up horseradish. Woo, everything opens up. Tonight, tonight I'm having a piece of, I'm having a salmon. I'm not sure how I'll do it yet. This is Norwegian Atlantic salmon. Um, that was five dollars and 
he tried to swim away. <laughs> and uh, 28 cents. So it's cold today, so, and I'm going straight home. I'm not going anywhere tonight. I was out last night, not tonight. And then Sunday, I'm going to have pork chops. So on Sunday, these were uh, $2.75. Mm hmm. So I'll probably eat the little one and the larger one tomorrow for dinner. And then cook that one, but probably make a sandwich out of that for Monday. Anyway. Oh, and then look, I got. Uh, I know this is supposed to be about antiques and thrifting and everything, but sometimes you guys are interested in what people buy at the grocery store. I was walking around, I said, oh, I want to eat some little pieces of cheese. I've never had this cheese before. It's called Sartori Bellavitano Espresso. And this little thing, I don't know, it's just a few ounces. Let's try one. I already wiped my hands off. Mmm. Mmm. A lot of flavor to that. Oh, I like that. Wow, that's good. Man, I like a cheese that bites you back when you bite it. Mm-hmm. Stilton is still my number one, but that was good cheese. Okay. Did he? Ha Does he have a thrift haul? There's one old blown vinegar. One old blown glass cruet. It's a little skinny one. See? There's a second one. These were two dollars and something. And here's the third one. That's pretty. So they all have stoppers. Sometimes it's you can't tell if the stoppers are original or not. And then look at this. It's a what's called a candy box. A divided candy box. 1920s, early 30s. Now it's clear, crystal. So you know, not such a big deal. I I love that the lid is with it. A lot of times the clear crystal ones, I may or may not buy them, but it is because of the decoration on top. Look at how deco that is. Now I'm not gonna try to get this tape off there until I soak it because the gold and that little bronze might try to come off. So what they've done to the lid in the factory is cut these lines in there. Those are wheel cut lines. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so, okay, this is done on a wheel with a cutter. And then uh, someone in the decorating room painted it. And you have two colors. You've got a you've got gold and then a bronzy color. There's already some loss to this. All right, it happens. Uh, it's not horrible. You know, most of the decoration is still there. Classic art deco, geometric. So we know we're somewhere between, we're no, we're no, we, bleh, we know we're after 1925. Yeah. Cause we didn't have design like this in this country really. Uh, but but uh, probably into the early thirties on that late twenties, early thirties. Okay. That's that. Um, I got some other things back there. We'll do that when we get home. So let's get this salmon and pork chop in the refrigerator and I'm going to nosh on some more cheese while I'm heading back to town. Hey, don't turn me off yet, because I haven't finished. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but I'm going to do something. Stay tuned. Okay, yeah, I was excited until I saw the price. $10? Come on. Not enough meat left on the bone for me. <sighs> eh. Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if it goes on sale. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. There is a pattern here that I think most folks would probably just ignore, and it's that right there. Can you believe this goes all the way back to at least 1945? I know it was in the 1945 Falstoria catalog. It may even be older than that. It's called Colony. 
Look at all these dinner plates. And then we're gonna come up here and we've got some bread and butter plates, whatever, luncheon plates. And then these are the little, are these saucers or are they? Yeah, so there's some extra saucers there. And then way down here, hold on to your platform rocker or your Mars chair. Okay, down here on the flow, we have some various cups and saucers. This will give you a better idea what the pattern looks like. So there it is. That is Falstoria Colony. Uh, it's not etched. It's very thickly embossed. I like it. I really do. Now, um, let's see. You've got these regular size coffee teacups. And then you've got these little dudes right here, which are smaller. I don't know, you might not be able to, to see. These are two, diff two different size cups. I don't know if that shows up in the, in the uh, pr production here. <laughs> uh, so there are a lot of cups and saucers down here. Now, I'm kind of mad because I've been eyeing this, thinking that eh, most folks are gonna ignore it. And it'll probably still be here whenever, what color is that? Whenever yellow decides to go on sale. So there's still, and I've got cups and saucers at home, so I wouldn't need them. There are still, there's still enough pieces of it in here. They're really rocking the 1980s music today. Can you see? But there's some serving pieces as well. There's a colony serving piece. There's another one. Somebody got rid of all of their mother's colony by Falstoria. Look, here's a, I think that's, that might, might or might not. And then the cream and sugar is around the corner. And there were some little, there were some stems as well. So I don't know, folks. Eh. It's in my brain to possibly come back. Is that the colony? That's the colony uh, little bowl wow okay so this is really exciting boy I really did like and I do like the colony by Falstoria not big prices in terms of if you're trying to sell it you know like a lot of things but I want to put together a four-piece place setting for myself maybe so it's one of those things I'm, I'm willing to wait for the colors to change I did get some more harp so I actually now have four cups and saucers, including the one that I was going to keep, but now I'm gonna sell it. I'll find another one because I grabbed four uh, dessert plates. So we're gonna be, be able to offer this up as a dessert set for someone, uh, a set of four. And you'll get four plates and four cups and saucers. It's a Jeanette pattern. Uh, it's a 50, it's a 50s pattern, I think. And you can get vases, you can get cake stands, you can get all kinds of stuff to go with it if you want. Um, and yes, technically that is a liar. Yep, uh, get it in there, okay. But the company called this pattern Harp. I guess they didn't want to refer to their glass as liar. <laughs> Spelled differently, but. And then I just had to do this. Um, I do still play record albums. This one uh, are some radio transcriptions of some uh, big band remotes. Frankie Trumbauer and his ensemble from 1937. Paul Whiteman from 39. Benny Goodman, 36, 37, 39, and Louis Armstrong, 1944. And then I couldn't resist the beat sound really just for the album cover and you know the nice thing is it's this isn't uh this this is not the you know lancaster pennsylvania junior high school chorus <laughs> not that I'm, and I'm sure they're delightful is if there is such a chorus but these are the real folks now you know i know every one of these let's hear I ran Flock of Seagulls, Kids in America, Kim Wilde, Love Plus One, Haircut 100. We got the beat, the Go-Go-Go-Go-Go's, of course. I Want Candy, Bow Wow. 
Girls on Film, Duran Duran, Hot in the City, Billy Idol, Joan of Arc, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. I love that. Dream of Me, Depeche Mode, In the Name of Love, Thompson Twins, I Know What Boys Like, The Waitresses, You Hit the Spot, Graham Parker, Split Ends, doing I Got You and I Predict by Sparks. I just had to. I had to. I just had to. Okay, now I gotta do something else. Okay, folks, I don't normally, normally go to thrift shops on a Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon. I did have to run out and get this, that, and the third, and I was driving by the thrift stores. So this is the second one and the last one. I'm on my way home. Mobbed, you couldn't even get a cart. That's the way it is on Sunday. Everybody buying up the clothing for 50 cents. Nobody, nobody, and there must be 100 people in there. Paid any attention to that. Ooh. Do you know what it is? I think it's a Gillender and Sons with the dog. Now, you may, I used to know someone years ago who had a huge collection of Westward Ho. And I think that was also Gillender and Sons. It's patterned glass and they have uh, uh, Indian, Native American figures on the top. And this guy had, you know, would you like to come upstairs and look at my collection of Westward Ho? Okay. Three hours later, ask me anything you want to know about Westward Ho. You're as funny as a cry for help. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I'm really not kidding. But I think this is made by the same company. And look at the frosted dog on the top. Let me spin him around. I hope he shows up for you. He is absolutely chip and crack free. If he is the real thing, and I don't know yet, but did they make reproductions somewhere along the line? If they made reproductions, oh well, I paid six bucks and big deal, I have a reproduction. But I don't think so. It's not cracked there. There's kind of like a little straw mark on that part of his leg. And then the nice thing that I like about the rest of it is it's not etched. There were several different etchings that could show up on pieces, and this one doesn't have it. There's a lot of wear around the base right here where you look for table wear. You would expect to see it. You're going to have to see it if this piece dates to the 1880s, 1890s. Now, there's sticky tape on it that I have to get off, but I am over the moon. Look at that. Um, value? I don't know. This, because everybody loves dogs, this may even have a little bit more value than the Westward Ho pieces, but we'll find out sooner or later. So what do you think? I am thrilled with that. Now, I also got two bags of Christmas stuff. Eh. We'll save those, but now I want to take you back to the 1925 bungalow and I want to show you something else, so stay tuned. You've got to be kidding. Who spilled the miracle Grow on that floor lamp? Now, I knew if you weren't conversant with this type of lamp, lamp you simply would not be able to comprehend the scale, which is the reason why. Here it is in my house and I want you to look at the scale of that thing <laughs> six feet tall way too big for this little 1925 bungalow we'll go up and we'll take a closer look at the lamp but that is exactly what they looked like now I want you to think about you know Norma Desmond and Sunset Boulevard and I want you to think about those big old, you know, Tudor revival and Spanish uh, revival, um, 1920s homes with 10 foot ceilings, 12 foot ceilings and massive square footage. That's where a lamp like this would have been, not in my tiny little house, but there's no way that I was going to miss an uh, a possibility to get a lamp like this. I'm not using it in this living room. 
My ceilings are too low. The lamp is too big. Uh, if the phonograph weren't there and I didn't have this small lamp, maybe. Now, I know some folks are gonna say, try it here, try it there, try it here, try it there. Trust me, this lamp has been all over this house and it really does not, it's just way too big. However, it might go in the back room, in the radio room, we will see. But as you can see, um, it's actually taller than I am. I'm 5'10". That lamp is six feet tall. <laughs> and look at it compared to my cozy, my other cozy little floor lamp here, which when a lot of people saw the video from last night, they thought this was new. This isn't new. I've had this for quite a while. But let me back, back, back up again just to give you the idea of the scale. And then if you go down to the floor, you can see. Let me keep backing up. All the way back here. And you, you can just see that it, it towers over everything. Um, gosh, I really would love to be able to use it. And um, main, main thing is uh, really the height of it. Uh, and the width of the shade. So anyway, but I wanted you to s s actually see the thing in part. Yep, they made big, massive lamps like this for big old 1920s mansions, and I don't live in a mansion. But it is a stunner. Hopefully it will fit in the back room behind the chair in the corner, and yeah, I could use it in there with the old radios. I keep backing up so you can... I'm, I'm, I'm actually almost standing in my bathroom so that you can see the whole thing. See it? Wow. That is a lamp. Lampapalooza. Thank you for joining me today on this weird little vlog that was filmed over a period of about two or three days and I think I changed outfits four or five times. Hey, come see me tomorrow or the next day. We're going to go through two bags of old Christmas. That should be fun. And I've got Barbie clothes updates for you. This week, I have my mother and stepfather. They've been down in their basement on the ping pong table having a good time sorting Barbie clothing for me. I'm paying the minimum wage. No, I'm kidding. All right. So that's Marsha Brady. Yeah, it is. And then this thing, we still haven't figured out what these are. No, I don't know what they are. I wouldn't waste my time on them. <laughs> don't waste your time on them. I'm putting these what is all, that? I'm putting these in the same bag. They all say Hong Kong, and I think they're all a match. Okay. And so that's it for the day. I gave you five matches. Okay, that's enough. You can rest <laughs> now. All right, now wait. You think Where's this was... Where's all those boots? Over yeah, there. Over face. Oops. This was Ken's or this was hers? Be quiet a minute. Be quiet. What are you doing? Oh no, you. I can't. I won't get your voice. She wants me to be quiet. She yeah. can't. Well, she's taking a silent picture. She can't. Yeah, a silent picture. <laughs> she's taking a silent movie, <laughs> and she wants me to be quiet. Yeah. Be quiet. I'm I taking to, a. I have to concentrate. I sometimes reverse words. Your mom doesn't realize that she. Be does quiet. It I'm too. taking a picture. <laughs> you can't tell what this is. There's so much stuff there. This thing I think has value because of the, um, is that dirt you can get off of us or what is that on there on the side? No, it's almost like there was, see, it matches up. Mm. I think there was something else there. I don't know. I just put it put it out like this and don't show that. Well, I have to show. I can't trick well, them into it's, thinking no, that but it's you're going to have to say these are how it's as is. Dirt and all. Well, you don't even mention that. It's how as is, and then you do with it what you want, right? <laughs> if you want to try, to, you don't want me to try to wash that. No. Let's get back to what you were going to say about curtains. <sighs> Well, I was trying to go through this, the rest of it. See, look at this thing. What is that? What is this around the top? 
That doesn't look right. Well, yeah, there was a time when they, plastic, that hooked, see that? That hooks around her neck. But they, the real clothing wouldn't have plastic on it. Well, there was some, yeah, because there were plastic raincoats. Yeah, see this? Yeah. What's that on? I can't tell what that is. There's her sundress. Oh, this is for at the beach. Her sundress. It's strapless. Nobody wears that to the shore. Is oh, that a, I would be. Is, is that a braless strap or a strapless bra? <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Look, you just stay busy with your shoes. Yeah, you stay. You, <laughs> you stay got with enough your shoes. to do with your boots over That's there. Right. You just keep on marching. Oh, look, look, look. I said, you two are accomplishing a lot more than I am. I know. Oh, well. Is that the... That's got to match something. That's big enough. You could fit two or three of them in there. That's stained, too. I don't think those pants go with that top. No, they don't. They don't. Oh, mercy me. You're going to sit Who there and... all that stuff? Now, that oh. here, that matches those panty things. <laughs> Where are they? We were just looking at them, and you I said know. you didn't know what they were, and don't mess with them. I said I wouldn't be bothered she with them. She said don't be bothered with them, and that goes, this is what, I, what I've what i hired you to do now. <laughs> Look. You're not paying that, me enough. That, that's that's her, her underwear. Well, put it on her. That's what she wears under that see-through uh, uh, raincoat. It is not. Bob, see? <laughs> she can't go to Easter service wearing that, can she? That's right. Not, now, where's her top? Right? Well... You're outnumbered with the, with the two of us together. You're oh outnumbered. my! You're outnumbered the, uh, three the, to one. The yeah, Baptist right. wouldn't let her in. <laughs> Wait, yes. there's the skirt. Well, that's this is a skirt too. Oh. How many does she have? I don't know. Apparently, she she must have a bunch of these. Now she explain explain that because there's holes for her something to go through there, and that what's goes, her arms? And what is that though? That just flops around the front of her. Yeah. That's not an app. That you can't wear that. That might be for um, housework. I don't know. Well, you're, it's it's your clothing. Ooh, you're ooh, the one. Look. Is this a hat? The lampshade cover. It is not. You. This she is your. Wear that hat. Here. This is your realm, not mine. Mm. Woo! Silk evening dress. And then we go to. Here's her little skirt. No, this... This is her cheerleading skirt. Yeah, Sis Boom Ba. Ryan, what was it? Riley Hot, what was that name? What was the name? Huh? The movie with the high school. Does that go around her neck? Oh, with, yeah. With the, that goes around her neck? Mm-hmm. Riley High or something? It wasn't Riley. It was close to that. Yeah, but with, what's it, Sandra D? San the, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, what top does she wear with that? I don't know. Well, but she can't just walk around well, with that around her neck. Well, maybe she wears this under it. Here, what's this? Oh, these are pantaloon. No, they're not. <laughs> Here. Wait a minute. Here, Bob. What would you? What would you? What would you do with that? <laughs> oh boy. Well, we know what that is. Do we? That's yeah, definitely underpants, right? Philly, Philly underpants. Philly underpants? Philly. Philly. Oh, Philly. F I thought. F -R -I. Oh, the F -R -I. ones you wear in Philly? <laughs> and here's, here's, here's for. An M. Give me an M. What's the M for? Mannington. Moron. <laughs> I need about five more bags. Well, right now, I something. don't have five more bags. Look so at that. Ooh. That's high fashion, right? Yeah, she needs a hat with this. Oh, this is where she wears her bunny fur. What okay. happened to her bunny fur? You can take these things and put them over there, and then when you get the bags, the more put them in there. Oh, here's her. Her here's her tutu. Mm. When she does the um, dance of the Nutcracker. What's that thing? It's her act. That's, that's her. a nothing. That's ripped off of something. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, here's another leather. Oh, look. 
this I'll was hope popular. There's missing enough on of that. these. There's a ton of these in there. Mm. Mm, what is mm, that? Mm, mm. That goes around her head. Oh, here's her nurse's cape when she went to Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, no, I think. Oh, yeah, this is a top. Look, this goes up to her neck. Mm -hmm. Her arms go through there. That's her top. Why is it so big? Well, because they wore a lot of these. They did? I guess. Who's they? Oh, they, I don't know. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You were around during ooh. Barbie. When did Barbie start, in the 40s? She the 40s? came out in 1959. Oh, 59. 59, I was too old you were for her. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice dress. Ooh, what you, that's called sleepy. a sheath dress, Yes, isn't it? it is. Sheath. Sheath. It's a sheath. S -H that zipper in there. How mm. do you spell it? S-H-E-A-T-H. -H. A sheath dress, yeah. Ooh, you guys are getting save nowhere. that. You're getting nowhere fast. You're, You're taking right. everything You're out and through putting it. nothing in. You haven't Ooh, accomplished a, a thing like this I This is have. probably Ken's. Oh, are you over there bragging with your plastic Hong Kong shoes? That's right. This is Ken's. Yep. His, his um, <laughs> sorority jacket. I don't I think mean, he was in a sorority. I think fraternity jacket. What is what is that thing? That's a dress. That's, That's a dress that hooks around her neck. This is her little prairie. That's her uh, little, little house on the prairie. Um, gingham. That's a Sandra D. I'm not taking this apart. No, We're don't take that apart. Wow, now. Bob, look at. What's that? Party? Oh, that's that's her um, her party dress. This is when she went to Holland, or doesn't Mexi it? Mexico. Oh, Mexico. This oh, look. Know. This is her. Um, that's her Renaissance fair fair outfit. <laughs> this is when she did the. Here's the top. Oh, look! No. Look at that. Hooks right there. Fancy. Oh, uh, look! Here's her pinata. Do me a favor. <laughs> hand me a, a large plate from over there so I can put all this stuff on the one plate. No, I'll give it to. I'll give you a tray. That's her pinoir. I don't care. You just drop one. Look at this thing. Is this is plastic. This says this doesn't say Barbie. That says. That's I can't see that. Let me see. I don't know who that, I, I oh, can't. it's Francie. Who? She must had a, there must have been somebody else called Francie, F-R-A-N-C-I-E. And it's made by Mattel. Some other girl she hung out with. Right. This is 1965 on it. 1965? Yeah. I wasn't even said. born yet. Ooh, look at that thing. That's her Evil Knievel outfit. That's not enough. Oh, That's, my gosh. Did you ever think Barbie wore something like that? I don't know what she wore. Wait, get that pinoir. pinoir. Oh, look at Pin, this. Somebody. Pinoir. <laughs> That's her bathing suit. My, wait, I waded in the water around my god. Bathing suit. Uh, you just said water. Did you hear that, yeah. Bob? She said water. She I says, waded in the water. She just, says... Water. She water. says, I don't say water. I, I don't say, say water. I say, yes, you do. I don't say water. She said water. That was on purpose. Look, Bob, look at that thing. <laughs> what would you think of that if she wore that on her your first date? Oh. Well, let's pretend. Let's try it on. You want to try it? <laughs> you could have one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. She's, oh, somebody she's had, wearing an animal. We had little vests when I was little. I made them. Didn't, didn't they were made out of that? Yeah, I made them. What'd you do with them? Throw them away? <sighs> gave them away. I didn't throw those clothes away. I gave them away. I had a little brown vest yes, that you looked did. just like that. Yes, you did. And this is ratty. Oh, what's down here that's hard? It's probably another coat. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Pl it's plastic. a one piece and it's plastic pants. She had some long legs. Yeah, she did. What's this? Ooh! Is this her ice skating dress? Oh, it's a jacket again, I think. Yeah. Well, someday when it's organized, if you had these in a bag up there and you were suddenly said, well, I need a couple of yellow things, you could quickly go to the bag and Go through it, because I don't th think... I know. That's a big help. Look at yeah. your dish there. Yeah. 
Okay. You've done much. You've accomplished a lot. You may have another, uh, a little more Easter dessert now that you. <laughs> I think I'm done for today. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look, that goes with that. Yes, See, it that's does. a set. I'm gonna put but the, they're both jackets. I'm putting the three bags on That's top. fine. Okay. Well, why would you have two of the same? Oh, because whoever made these, they well, these were, were mass producing. Right. Okay. So there should be there should be um, mass producing. I don't even think okay. that's a dress, is it? Anyway, draw on one tray. Okay, nice that's job. very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, super duper. And next thing to do is take these and do the same thing. With okay, them. I'll get some little bags. But you say there are some more boots in another thing. I have to get them from the house. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you should bring down the remaining boots so we can get all the boots organized. Okay. I'm not saying anything else with the boots, but at least that's a start. Okay. That oh, is a big pile of. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look up. Okay, well, now I don't have your face in it, so this oh, will preserve you your go. anonymity. Oh, there you go. So, <laughs> Bob, tell us your strategy. Put all don't, the white... don't, don't worry about looking cute. Your face yeah. isn't in it. Yeah. Yeah. Put all the white ones in one, one container. Okay, we we're going to do all the white ones first. And you're actually doing this on a volunteer basis, is that correct? You'll know. Maybe you'll get a bill in the mail later. Oh, I'll find out after. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the, uh, so far, uh, Well, Do you did you wear anything like that back in the uh, not, old time? Not quite. Oh, I did have a poncho. A it, poncho. It didn't look like this, however. You got food on your hand. However, it was um, crocheted. My poncho was crocheted or knitted. Mm -hmm. Um Gee, what is that? this looks like something Mrs. Cleaver would wear with pearls around her neck. That's got a bunch of damage oh, on I it, see though. It. The cat got a hold of that. Oh, I see that. Let's see what else Oh, is... this is... Oh, here's the rain slicker. There should be a hat to go with that. I hope there's more than just a hat. <laughs> uh, I said this goes over her clothing. Bob, what do you think what? of that? That's the one you showed me. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's her gown. Johnny Seymour. John, Johnny Seymour? <laughs> oh, Who's Johnny Seymour? Yeah. The, the guy, that's the name of the guy that's looking at it. Oh. He, he, he can see more. Yeah, if she goes out <laughs> oh, and just that. Goodness. You picked up on oh, that. Oh, my didn't goodness. You? Oh, here's another evening coat. Look at this. How fancy. Yeah. Fan oh, look. It has a belt that hooks. Now, you were too old for Barbie, weren't you? Barbie, yes. I was a little, she was a little after Your my doll playing time. You played with Shirley Temple? Nope. I mean, <laughs> Shirley Temple. Hey, now that's not nice. Well, what did you have? What doll did you have? I didn't have any well-known doll, whatever she was. I just always did her hair. We didn't, we weren't into name things. Oh. Oh, does that say Barbie? What's that say? Huh? I don't think it says anything. Oh, 200? No. What? I think I think it's tulips, upside down <laughs> tulips, isn't it? I have no clue. It's just a design on her evening dress. That goes over her neck. There's the hooks on the back. Lovely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, well... <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a cold, rainy week. Oh, my so goodness. So that's for Ken. That's the boy that, yeah, that was she ran friend. around oh, with. Oh, here's her little granny skirt. She needs some boots with this one. These boots are made for walking. Hey, you've been a messin'. Boy, well, you shouldn't have been a messin'. I think, I think the shoes are straight, so I don't think there's any left or right. Okay? Yeah, she... Okay. All right. uh, this but is her jail uniform. That's a that's a hoodie. <laughs> look at all these hoodies. What you do? Have a bunch of friends? Huh? There's look. These are all the same. And the zipper goes. Whoever made these? Look. The zipper goes all the way up. Mm -hmm. All the way up through the hood. 
that this, that this looks wonky to this, me. It, it's amazing artistry. And I didn't trick them into doing it either. They wanted to. So we'll have some Barbie clothes updates and, oh, you know, the typical things that you have come to expect here on the old Curiosity Shop. So thanks for spending time with me today, and I'll see you the next time. Until then, I am Scott. Thanks for watching. Wait for the cat. And so long for now. I'm going to go play with that lamp again. Ah. <sighs>